Okay, this is what you get when you have a uh, car set in a garage for six, eight years. You get this coating of ick inside your, uh, I mean, you can see it there. It's just built up and icky. But it's inside your transmission, American Differential. I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of this apart. I took the uh, wheel out of it already. Uh, it sets down and rotates on the bearings, but you'll see these studs here. I took all the long bolts out, and uh, this is a long bolt. And then I slowly let these off because that side plate's a little bit under pressure, but I had to tap it to get it off and then lift the uh, flywheel pinwheel out. And uh, I've got it over here. And uh, you'll see these bearings in here are just loose as can be and uh, need to be replaced real bad. And the other place over here is, uh, if you look at this pinion, I mean, it's just sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And it should be nice and tight, so we'll put new bearings in that and take This bearing here that's in bad shape, I went ahead and put my uh, bearing puller on it. I've got the flat side up. I leave that a little loose. I want that underneath the bearing, but I do not want it tight on the shaft because it's got to come on up with it, and I don't want that to damage the shaft. I've got a, a bushing driver, and it sets right inside the ring there, so I've got something to push against. And I'm going to go ahead and get my puller on there. It's a snap-on uh, puller, and pull that bearing off of there. Okay, I got this all on there. I put this on there, this uh, metal bar to crank on. Uh, this is on there pretty good, so uh, usually these things come off pretty easily. As you can see here, I'm right up to this, so I can't pull it anymore. I'm going to have to put another spacer in there. Thought it would have popped off sooner than that. Okay, that popped right off. That buried in a shot, and it's got all kinds of ick all over it. As you can see the shaft there, we got that off without damaging the shaft. And uh, there's one of these on each side, so we'll flip it over. Now this one, I have to split this off because I can't get my bearing puller behind it. Uh, it's not big enough to go behind there, so you got to take a real sharp... Uh, okay, you get a cold chisel on there, like I said, and whack it real good. And uh, split that open, and then we're gonna bend that back and uh, get all those balls out of there. Then we'll be able to get that retainer off of there. Yeah, once we start getting the balls out, we're in good shape. Okay, so I uh, finished, I uh, cut the bottom off of that with a pair of clippers after I got those first couple of balls out. And now you'll see we'll have a good edge right here to put our uh, puller on. There wasn't enough room. You can't get behind it here to pull it off. So uh, that's a little trick on that you got to do. Okay, I've got my puller on here. And you'll see I put it on that top collar on that bearing. And we talked about knocking those uh, balls off of there. I put two spacers in this one. Uh... I always pull against a good bar, but uh, anyway, I'm all set up there, and uh, that was so hard to crack last time, I'm going to use a little mechanical means here. Okay, that comes off there. You can see my extra spacers in there, but... Uh, so we pulled the bearing off both sides and uh, we'll clean that up and you can see all that crud on there. That's what you get when you have a garage find. Uh, I know what I look for. I bought this as a spare parts car and uh, you know, voila. 
Okay, uh, we're going to remove the pinion off of this, and I've already loosened all these. But I'm going to take all these out of there, and then we'll tap it with a brass hammer to remove the pinion out of there. Then we'll get to the side plates. Okay, I've been alternating this back and forth, flipping this over. Tapping that off, I tap it every once in a while, and uh, tap it a little bit more. I've just about got it at this point. And that's how you get that off of there. Probably take that a couple more times. It's really coming now, though. Okay, I pulled that pinion out of there and I pulled all kinds of muck out. There's a hole here that gets oil up to the bearings and it was completely stopped up. And we showed you that on reassembly. Uh, actually, this was off a car I had that uh, I didn't take the pictures of the taking apart of the other one, but this one I sure did. This spacer comes in here. And uh, it's factory set for the loading and all uh, proper uh, pressures on the wheels. Uh, this thing had absolutely no preloading to it. You'll see on the video me and Ralph did that uh, that's rather hard to turn when you got the proper bearings and preloading in it. Let's see, where do we leave off here? Of course, we. Uh, Took all these long bolts out in the first step, but just to show you one, they can't, went all the way around here. Uh, these guys, I loosened them up, but they're on studs. I'll remove those studs with a stud remover and send them out and get them CAD plated. Uh, we'll take a brass hammer to this and uh, see if we can't... Uh, knock this cover off. Usually they're uh, these are just form fit on there so they're not real uh, tough but uh, usually I get something that's a non-malleable uh, material and I uh, tap these off. Oh that one came right off. That's coming right off. Hopefully I can pull it off there. 